All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants' opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to Upscale Love for You. Good evening, everyone. This is yours truly, Dr. Fabulous, the CEO and founder of Upscale Love for You, the hostess with all the mostest. All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants' opinions are based upon their own information that they consider from their own knowledge and no expressions or accuracies is related to Upscale Love for You. We kindly request that the guests refrain from recording or live streaming any part of the podcast on social media platforms without prior consent from Upscale Love for You. And I am so excited this evening. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to Upscale Love um, Tantalize and Talk Thursday. So without further ado, I'm going to slide it right on over to you and introduce yourself, Lil Bo P. Hey, what it do, Upscale Love for you, crew and guests. Thank you for joining tonight. We really appreciate it. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. You're in for a great, um, a great time tonight. You know, we're going to smoke up some things, you know, follow my smoke, follow my praise, let's get it pop. All right. Come on to us, Dr. Feel Good. Tell us what you're doing and what you, what's going on with you tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Feelgood, the man with the golden voice, the lady's choice, and of course, the Liz of Rolls Royce. Coming to you live from the 571, where I'm having fun and I'm getting things done. I'm doing things right and I'm keeping it tight. Y'all just stay hold on and do it to the break of dawn. I'm passing it back to you, Dr. Fab. All right. Well, come on through, Special K. Hey, this is your girl, Special K. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you all for joining us tonight for Tantalizing Talk. Hope you all enjoy tonight's hot topic. Feel free to join in. We would love to hear your opinions and comments. Back to you, Dr. Fab. All right, all right. Come on through, Action J. Bring it light, camera action. Thanks for everyone coming to you tonight. It's going to be a great show. I hope the guests enjoy themselves. I'll pass it back to Dr. Fab. All right, is the one, the only distinguished brother here with us now? You almost did it. You almost did it. Good I evening. Did, I did. <laughs> and I had to catch myself. But well, almost. I understand. I understand. Good evening, everyone. This is the distinguished brother coming to you from right outside the ATL. We hope that tonight. We can tantalize and get you to fantasize just a little bit so you can enjoy this evening and have some fun with us. Back to you, Dr. Fabulous. All right. Lady T, are you able to say hello to us this evening in the 305? I am, Dr. Fab. I mean, DB, you just have me blushing all over myself, so let me tantalize with you. Welcome, welcome, everyone. I'm coming live from the 305, and I just want to say tonight is going to be sizzling. And Leanne, I hope you can chime in, and I want to give a special shout out to Anton. Thank you for coming tonight, because I know you're such a busy man. So, Dr. Fab, I'm going to slide it back over to you. Now, you said Anson. I don't see Anson. Anson's here. I see his, his oh, okay. representation. I see listen, listen. Listen, Linda. Let me get these <laughs> eyes tight, get it together because I promise you I didn't even see him. I was looking everywhere but the right place. But anyway, good evening, in. everyone. And thank you so much for coming on tonight, because like Lil Bo Pete said, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend your Thursday night here getting a little tantalizing talk. And so the subject matter at hand, now listen, let me see how can I put this. We have been talking, you know, sometimes people say they they want to get married and they meet and this love at first sight. But 
I was listening to Steve Harvey, and Steve Harvey said it take a hundred and seventy two days for a man to truly know if he want to marry this woman. So tonight we are going to talk about does a man really know at the very beginning if he really going to marry this woman or he just boosts you and her around. So with that being said, I'm going <laughs> to switch it over. Um, Somebody said, social media diva, social yeah. media diva in the house. Can you please, 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 social media, put up your screen, your background screen. Take a couple of seconds and do that for us. But nevertheless, we're going to slide it on over to the one, the only, Lobo P. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for that awesome, awesome introduction, Doctor. Can you can everyone hear me pretty good? We can. All right. Hey, listen, like I said, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Um, as the doctor was saying, you know, she was listening to Steve Harvey. And, you know, I I like old I like old Steve Doc, but Steve don't ran through a couple of marriages, right? And he has, seemed, he has, it, he had to it, do it, it till he got it right. He, he, till he got it right. But you know, I mean, in every situation, you're gonna have some problems, you're gonna have some some issues. And um, it just boils down with, you know, that that commitment of saying, I do. Because at the time, most people say, I do, you know, everything is, is hunky-dory, everything is great, it's amazing, you're feeling all blissful, and um, I can speak from experience because I've been married before, right? Yeah, little Bo Pete was, I was locked in, um, I was 22 years old, mm -hmm. 22 years old, and I married a woman that was 32 years old. All and right my, now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She, she was, was a Stella all the way. She, she was a cougar. Mm -hmm. And my dad forbid me to marry her. He was like, she is not right for us, right? He's I seen her kind. His exact words was, I've seen her kind a thousand times, right? And in that in that very moment, I didn't really understand what my father, what my father meant. And so it became like I was I was 22. I was trying to find my own freedom, find my own way. And so I knew some things about it was not right. But I really did it because I wanted to defy my father to let him know that I'm a man. Now, you can't tell me what to do any longer. Right mm -hmm. now in that I did love her. Right. So it's it's um love. I mean, she had the looks. She was like in hair. She was a hair model, beautiful, and um, uh, and she was loyal to me, right? Because I, I was, I was in this, I was doing things, and she was, she was holding me down, right? We was, we was like Bunny and Clyde, right? So she, she had all, she had all three things going. Um, uh, however, the loyalty did not last, um. And it's easy for a person to say they're loyal to you when you're doing anything and everything for a person. That's the easiest thing for somebody to, oh, I love you when, you know, you buy, you know, new cars, you know, brand new furniture and homes. It's easy for a person to love not you, but love what you can do for them. So um, I experienced the, the love, look, and the and the loyalty portion, and then it, it it backfired on me. But the one thing that really stuck out uh, for me, what my father said was that um, he was like, when you get forty, she's gonna be fifty, and when you get fifty, she's gonna be sixty. You're not gonna want a sixty year old woman, right? And uh, I didn't. Wait, 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 wait. I thought she was only 10 years younger than you. I'm saying he was saying when I got 50, she was going to be 60. So what's the difference? I'm saying it was, it, I, and I, I understand it because he like, hey, when I'm 40 years old, he's like, you ain't going to want no, when you 40, you ain't going to want no 50 year old um, woman. And so now I'm, I'm 40, you know, I'm 41. 
and he's abs- even though he's long gone, he was absolutely right. Like I, I don't want a fifty year old woman at my. Um, oh, pop the brakes! Forty I'm is saying, the new twenty. What do you? Cause you know, you see, wait, 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 y'all see, I got my hand up already. I got it. Uh, I can't see. I can't see the hands. I'm on my phone tonight. Bo, so if hands, bo. if a hand goes up, <laughs> help me out. Help me out. But um, I will. But, yeah, I will. So, so the fifty, the new fifty, um, may be the new twenty for somebody who thinks like that. For me, fifty is fifty, right? That new twenty stuff don't work for me. At forty, I'm going backwards. I want I'm forty one. I want me a thirty one, a thirty two year old woman. I don't. I don't want no. I don't want no That's fifty year old going through that midlife crisis. That's what it is. No, I. Right there, Bo. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Is, <laughs> DB, come on, DB. I, what, I knew what, it was coming, bro. What, I, I, we should have talked about this before you got on. But go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and finish. But you know, at forty, I'm going. I, I want some. I want to be the older one. In my in my relationship at forty, and 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 not my wife be older than me because at fifty, I mean, I mean I'm not, um, I'm not physically attracted to her at what she looks like at fifty versus what she was at at thirty when I had her. But the craziest thing I'm gonna tell you how you can speak things. Oh, you ready to get kicked off the podcast? Go ahead. I, I told when you. I told, I'm, listen, I'm telling you. I used to we tase get her. That do the I, boot. I, listen, give me the boot, give me the cowboy boot, give me the work boot, whatever boot you're going to give me. But guess what? Don't give me a 50-year-old boot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't taking that. I'm saying, going bro, just, just pull, up your, pull up your Captain America. We doing steel toe in your it's ass. Coming. I ain't Come going. Hey, it's a get no. that Captain America. I'm just already. trying to be it's quiet. Coming. It's I'm a no. I'm trying not to respond. I'm saying, listen. I ain't knocking nobody, but I'm going to tell you about speaking things into existence, right? So when I was like 17 years old, I used to always chase her around the church, and I used to tell her, girl, you're going to be my wife. And damn it, mm. she became my... Now, she never paid me no she attention. She had some I... good stuff. That's why she was your nah, wife. No, that, that ain't even what it was about. It, it, you know, I was infatuated with her when I was a teenager, right? And she was older. She was beautiful. However, you know, she never paid me no attention when I was 17. I used to walk her to the car and she was like, boy, go on about your business. And then when I got like 21, I saw a sister. I was at work and I was like, oh, man, where my wife at? And I said, tell her to call me. And she's like, I'm finna tell her, I'm finna have her to call you. Man, she gave me that number. We talked on the phone like 10 hours. She had to go to the store and buy a new phone at CVS. She went and bought a new phone. That's how we talked that night. Man, listen here. But at 41, I wish I would have left her and the fucking phone. That's, I mean, <laughs> <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a dollar for that one. That was slip dot dot. Mm. I wish Anson, I would have left Action that. Jackson, we going to need yeah, to like, throw up some shit yeah, over here. Feel good? Out. Come on now. I'm getting ready. <laughs> have to my hair is done. Get him, Dr. Fab. Get him. I'm about to go in. I wanted to throw no. that. I wanted to throw that out there because I'm I'm fine. I'm 41 and fine. You know Boy, what I'm saying? So I just ain't doing. I ain't doing that. So now love for me, it gonna come like 10 years uh uh younger, 10 you know younger than me. You know that's that's what it is. Okay, talk to so, me, uh, talk Pete. to me, the fabulous one. Let's uh, Pete, smoke it's the fabulous now. one and her other self looking at yes, her. Yes, it's both. Yes. Of us. Oh, you I got Lady T with her to... hand up. This finna be oh. good. Lady T, you supposed to be on vacation. Why is you on here with your hand up tonight? Listen, I knew you was gonna bring that demon spirit up in here. <laughs> yes, and we gonna rebuke them standing up. But listen here yeah. now, little Bo Peep, little Bo Peep, I Talk got to, to me, give it to you, okay? So you said that she was ten years young. older. Excuse me, older. older. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. I guess you could say that I was a Cougaranian also because my husband was eight years and three months younger than me. You were growling, yeah. However, I didn't look older than him. We looked the same age and it was simply beautiful. Now you Mm -hmm. said that at your age now and you saw her, she didn't look the same. Well, everybody ages. I just want you to know, because you're 41, 
to somebody, you may look 51. Come on now. Okay, and don't cause and, and, listen, and don't cause a 21 year old try to holler at me the other day. But that ain't nothing. I'll be 60 <laughs> March 28th. And baby, look, look, look. I was asked out to dinner tonight. I was scrolling through Walmart, picking up me some groceries. And I was like, the little guy kept saying, Hey, hey. And I'm like, who is he talking to? He couldn't have been no more than about 35, 36. I promise you that. I said, oh, he looking for a sugar mama. But he been tricked. But I'm telling you now, black don't crack. And my 60 definitely is the new 40, 45 tops. Because, baby, and I, I still pull them in. I pull them in. So I'm going to put my hand down. But I just, had I, to let you, I just had to let you know, some people age differently than others. True. That's True. like that girl that played on what's that movie? Jazz. I I, I can't. What's the name of that? It, it was filmed in Atlanta at Clark and Morehouse. What is her name? Jasmine something. You all know who I'm talking about. What She's, movie? What 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 movie? She doctor? played on Harlem Nights. Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy. Yeah. Now, she honey, listen. She look a hundred. Cracked, broke up. She look a hundred and ten years old. Exactly, because she did not age well. But some people age extremely well. And when you come to my gala, I'm going to introduce you to somebody, and I want you to tell me how this person is, and your face going to go like, ooh, <laughs> they show sure age well in her family. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm putting my hands down right now. I'm going to lower it. I'm going to lower it. But I, I, I'm watching you tonight, little Bo Peep. But, but, but you, you know, know what, though, no, Doc? Some people do age gracefully because my dad had a best friend um, named Jap. And the first time I met Jap, I thought Jap was like 30, 30 years old. And um, my dad was like, man, that Negro the same age as I am. So here, he looked so young, he ain't never did no damn work in his life. Like, so some people's lives are different. And I didn't mention she had three children. So I took on a whole lot at 20. At 2022, so well, I mean, say that, brother. Say 22. that you didn't like them at, bad behind children. That's what you know what you One know, day her black crack. It was. It, I mean, it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of things. I didn't get along with her mom. Her mom tried to fight me before we got married. I mean, it was so much, right? But I didn't want. I didn't really want people to say, be able to say, "I told you so," right? Okay, that was so something that I was fighting with. That. I told you so. So in in me knowing that that was the wrong situation for me, it all boiled down to I was worried about the opinions of others pertaining to that situation because I'm not the type of guy that really cares about other people's opinion. But nobody wanted me to marry this woman. Like nobody. But my you mama, did it my, anyway, right? My dad, hey, my dad didn't even come to the wedding. Mm. My dad say. I can't watch you mess up your life. She wasn't allowed at the house. So being that we were married, I had to take that stand there, Dad. If she can't come, I ain't coming. So when she got pregnant with his grandson, of course, you know, he kind of like loosened up then because, you know, it wasn't about his feelings per se, but it was more so about, um, you know, he wanted to have a relationship with his, you know, with his, with his grandchild. So um, I went through that. You know, I, the the love part, and I really, I really did love, um, my ex wife, and you know, so I went through the love, the looks, and the, and the loyalty. But for me, when the loyalty dies, everything else dies because with me, you don't get a second chance to be disloyal, and I, I and I said you don't get a second chance to be disloyal because when you're yeah. disloyal the first time, it's very likely that you will be. Dislike, oh, you'll be disloyal <laughs> a second time. So, with with that, Lady T, you know, you 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 want to jump on my head when I said about that fifty thing. I I want to know what what are, what are your what are your thoughts about you know, um, love, looks and, so and loyalty. What what got you down? What got you down the aisle, Lady T? Well, well we got we got I one hand social up. media diva's social hand was media up. Diva and then oh. I'll come. 
Okay, well, y'all help me out. I'm on my phone. I can't see the hand. So, social media diva, what's happening? Pretty hell, good hell, don't care. Let's go, go some ish. Talk to me. Okay. Um, I almost forgot. I'm sorry. But um, what you said earlier, you know, it all depends. Some guys like um, younger girls and it's vice versa. I, I don't know. It's just like older people like younger people. That's just how it's been. And it's always been a thing. So, I agree with you. I always want somebody younger than me. So I'm not against you. Yeah. <laughs> so you rocking with you rocking with the smoke. You feel oh, what absolutely. I'm saying. <laughs> so so for for wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. I think you missed it. She said she like them younger. You better tell them jailbait younger. Um, social media diva. Jailbait. Oh. No, it's younger. You don't want no one. Oh, you got somebody. You got somebody named Oh nickname Jeb. Oh, oh, that's another show for. That's another story for another show. Yo. So, so, so if you being that, that's your that's your preference, and everybody kind of operates within their preference. Like my preference when I was younger, when I was like twenty and thirty, was a forty year old or, or well, an older woman. Um, you know, I've dated a woman. You know, like I kicked it with a woman that was like fifteen years. Older than uh, older than I was, and you like we were we were cool, but I knew I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't marry her. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for you, social media diva, with your preference of a younger man, if you met a man that was older than you, um, he was attractive, he had swag, personality, he was uh, financially stable. Would you put your preference to the side and be willing to give that? that older man, older gentleman a chance. Of course. Uh, I'm, I wasn't saying that <laughs> uh, that was my preference. I'm just saying, like, I just see that a lot is younger. Like, I like younger, but me being 31, I mean, the youngest I'll probably date would probably be no more than, what, 27 young? And then older, okay. I don't want nobody really over, like, 35. I'm not going to lie to you. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> 40 is pushing it. Now, 40, I don't know. It, it just depends. Just the pin. So yeah. Watch watch what you say about that 40. Now I'm on, I'm 41. I don't talk too don't talk too crazy about that 40. <laughs> <years old>. But <laughs> but I mean, you know, it boils I mean it boils down to, you know, um to preference. But something gets you to that place of of, of love and to what Doctor said about Steve Harvey saying it takes how many days, Doc? hundred and seventy two. I um I totally disagree with Steve on that, right? I totally disagree with Steve, Steve on that. And after after Lady T tells me, um, comes in and tells me how she got what what caused her to get down that aisle, I'm gonna tell you why I disagree with Steve. Lady T, talk to me. Come on in, vacation T. Oh, now she done got all shy and everything. Now she don't want to talk, now, DB. Now she oh, no, now, I'm huh? ready for you. Oh, believe me, I'm ready for you. Come on, bring that smoke <laughs> then. Bring that smoke to me. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go with smoke one. First and foremost, <laughs> you cannot put an age on love. That's number one. You can fall in love. You can find a 50 or 60-year-old that does everything for you and she, treats you and he, he or she may look like they 30 you know so you can't even label it like that and secondly <clears throat> as far as dating an, an older woman I mean you're not too young yourself so when you like older men try to get these younger women it's because y'all going through some type of midlife crisis which is sexual it ain't. <laughs> and, and it those ain't. women those younger women do not care. So as long as you're getting that hair and nails done, you know, they'll take care of you very well. As far as us women, you know, we want somebody that's going to love us. I mean, really love us, you know, to our soul. So if it's um 60-year-old, which you have those silver foxes in Atlanta, or it could be like um a twin a 30 year old some some of the 30 20 30 year olds they are more more mature they know what they want more 
uh, than the 60 year olds. The 60 year olds want to play games, wear jerseys and hats and sleep around and they think their pimp game is tight. Not the so, pimp game. Not yes, yeah, the pimp <laughs> game. So Lady T okay. I can't hear. Okay, you got the sorry ones who want a sugar mama. Those are the sorry ones. So mm. For you, for you to come out your mouth and say, like, age, baby, we got a bunch of beautiful women that's older. I mean, they carry themselves in tip-top shape. You have some of these men that tell them oh, that like a crackhead and look run down and raggedy trying to find their way so don't get me started on that baby but that could be but that could but lady t that could be on both sides right because i mean yeah it could be at my, on at my on tender both sides. at my tender age of 40 i'm still you know like they ain't calling me they ain't they ain't saying i'm an old i'm an old man now maybe when i hit 50 they might you know refer to me as a as an old old They're guy gonna be saying, like, excuse me sir and <laughs> you getting your social security disability yet? Mm. But at, yeah, at fifty, <laughs> at fifty they may. But like, if you okay, you see the picture in the background, right? You see the square. That's two years ago, right? I'm still, I still look the same, right? I, my beard is grayer. My beard is grayer and, and, and longer, but it's still the same little Bo Pete. So it's not even about looks because I've seen beautiful older women. It's just at this point in my life. I don't want to older women because sometimes with older women, they bring a lot of other things into a relationship that I don't want to deal with. Right. So okay. that just it goes to my my preference. Like I ain't trying to get down the aisle with and, and love somebody that's bringing baggage to a relationship. Like you bring it, you bringing baggage into it. They got older kids that they still you know, they're still growing up or they got situations with, uh, you know, I don't want to, it's just more to it than them just being older than me. But you know, hold on, it, little boy Pete, but when you, you got me at that part, kids, don't you have kids and don't you have young kids? I have, I have young kids, but I don't have no drama. I don't have no, okay, I don't so mind a woman. How can you not the woman? But how can you say the statement you just said? I don't, mind, you don't I have drama, drama yet. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna speak that word yet. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say yet. I ain't putting that. I'm a man of words. I believe in words is power in words. I'm not going to say yet. So I'm speaking as of today. Like as of today, I don't have drama. And my ex-wife now we don't even communicate. So I did have drama, and I've had it was drama that caused issues in relationships that I've had because, like. I love my son to, to life and I went going for it. So I would allow certain things to happen. And women that I dated was like, oh no, that ain't cool. And I'd be like, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? But as I've but, grown, mm -hmm. if I'm trying to pursue someone, especially where I'm trying to get down the aisle, you know, you, you talking wedding bells, you know, love, looks, loyalty, you talking that kind of talk. I can't tell you to mind your business because my business is your business at that at that point. So it, it just for me, it boils down to the preference. DB. DB. So let me understand something. Cause I you so are you saying that a, a younger woman, I would assume from what you just said, you would prefer, and I would assume that don't that does not have children, because if a younger woman comes with child, most likely that child is still very young. Some, some. So that's what I'm saying. So you're preferring not only the ten years under than you, but also preferring them to be childless. But it's okay for you to come to a childless woman with your with kids and kids of your age, the age that they are. That is not what I said, Lady T. No, that's I, why I'm asking. I'm trying to get oh, understanding. Oh no, 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 I'm, <laughs> no. I'm fine with. I'm fine if she got kids. It's two for two. I got. I will. You know, three for three. I got two biological. And and, a, and another child that I that I've that I've taken on as as my own, which is my um biological daughter's sister, you know, uh, older sister. That's my daughter. That's my daughter as well. Mm -hmm. 
So right. she can match me. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't doing, I ain't doing more than what I got. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. Okay, so I just guess I was unclear when you said the older woman, because most likely an older woman is, has children. Most likely an older woman is going to have children of an older age. So is that what's the issue you don't want to deal with? The older age of the children? The- I know some, yeah, I know I know some older women right now who, their children are older, but they still depend heavily on their mom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know I saying? understand now yeah. what you're saying. And, and, and so for me, as a man, like, hey, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna make it happen. And I get everybody to go through things, but you gotta take them off that breast milk at some point. You know what I'm saying? Like it's okay to be a mama and it's okay to be a father, but at some point you gotta let your children, you gotta throw them out there in the, in the water and know like, hey, I instilled this in you so I believe you can swim. If I continue, it's that you give a man a fish and eat for a day, you teach a man to fish and eat for a lifetime. You know, so I just don't want to deal with that every day is something with an older with an older child because I'm going to have a voice and they probably won't like the voice that I'm going to give. And then it's going to cause drama between me and them. So I just want to I just choose to stay away from that. I'll never get down the aisle with that. I'm trying to get down the aisle, Lady T. You know what I'm saying? I want I want a wife. I desire a wife. I desire a family. Right. So in order for me to get back to the love, looks, and the loyalty, it all gotta, it all gotta match up. What's happening? It all gotta, it all gotta match up. It can't gotta just be up. one. It gotta, it gotta add up. Like I don't want just. You can see a pretty face in Atlanta, and anywhere you go, pretty much you can see a pretty face, right? But what else do you possess besides looks, right? Like what else? You know what I'm saying? Like you can, so you the can question feel. Is- the question is, little Bo, what do you want? You say you want to get down the aisle. What do you want? He want to get down the aisle with a ten year younger woman than him. <laughs> He's forty one. He wanted to be thirty one. He don't want her to have no grown children. He don't want her to be and had a baby at fifteen, cause that means the baby is almost old as him. So you know that's what he's trying to get. But you, I don't know what the doctor. Well, that's not good that. enough. What do you really want in the woman? I don't want to put. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna put it out there, right? You know, what I'm saying she may be listening, then she'll just go off of what I said. So I, I ain't gonna say. Oh, so you know what okay. I'm saying? So I ain't gonna. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say. Hold that thought, huh? I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold that. But I'm going. What I will. But what I will say is between the three, um, looks. I mean, love, looks, and loyalty. Uh, of course, for a man, we look, we look for looks. You know, looks. That's the first attraction, right? Because. And say, oh, beauty is in the eye to behold. Okay, now I don't want no ugly ass woman next to me. I, I ain't going for it. I don't care what your heart now look he like. Talking trash tonight. I don't care what your heart look like. We gonna have to pray for him. I don't know you. Listen, you don't know a person's heart when you see him, right? So that's something that that's oh. learned. That's something that's learned over time. So the first, mm. the law. Give me somebody is, ugly. Uh, I take them tra- ugly. Lies, lies, you, lies and more lies. See, lies, lies see, and like that's a lie because y'all mean that's ugly. All you need is some nice smelling cologne, nice outfit, a straight haircut, and hey, we can do some things. So you said, Lady T, it might seem like ugly baby. Got one and important say, part of that, that baby outfit nice. But <laughs> <laughs> so you want your man uh-uh, to be like the ugly what? baby. You want uh, your man to be like the ugly aside, baby. When you get a certain age, you really don't look at the looks because you know you're not having no more children, so it really don't even matter. But sometimes ugly people Amen. Have beautiful babies. What That's are you talking about? I ain't even got to see out here, Leanne. Oh, my dog. My dog got his hand up. Okay, clear the flow. Answer what to speak. I'm going to say two Come names. Come on in. What's up, Queen? Names. How you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. But lady said something that made me think of something that I just heard recently is that I heard a man giving the women advice saying that, you know, you need to stop trying to change men to be what you want them to be. Mm. They are who they are. Mm. You just have to deal with them or you're not. That's mm. your choice that you have to make just like ours. Well, the personality, mm. you keep them, you know, how they are because that's what you fell in love with. But I'm talking about, we're talking about looks. Looks, I don't care about your looks. 
you know, being ugly. Like I said, you can put on a nice outfit, straight cut, nice cologne, and hey, that's it. Hey, he he gonna gonna be ugly. Why you don't care about him being ugly? The real concern. Why you don't care about him being ugly? I'm gonna because give you two names, Lady Ten. You tell me, me if this will pass the test. That, that's that's not important to me. What is important to me is treating me like the queen I am. That's what's All important right. to me. So I hear you talk. You, you, you don't think a handsome man can treat you like a queen? I hear you talk. Maybe a third of the way, but you're not gonna you're not gonna give me your true soul because you into yourself when you trying to put in more work primping and prepping than me, then, you know, it's a problem. So I'd rather take somebody ugly or mediocre that can show me their true self because, you know, they're trying to uh, win me over and treat me can like I give the you queen two names that I real am. Fast? Can I give you two names? Two names. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Get them two. Name number one. Now, don't, don't block yourself, Lady T. I want to hear your reaction. Name We're going to say one? number one is Flavor Flav. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Name number two, Trick Daddy. <laughs> I don't now, be talking about Trick. trick Name number three, Lil Wayne. Yeah, see, I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. Hey, That's hey, 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 DB, I'm a, I got one more. And name number four, Seal. <laughs> there you go. Look, let me tell y'all something. Flavor Flav held it down. So what you talking about? Everybody wanted him. They he, wanted was Flav Flav he, was, for he was popular. If Flavor was Flav not work at, Thank you. They wanted if Flavor Flav Flav was at his Donuts when nobody wanted. Actually, Seal is not ugly, by the way. I don't I think he is actually a sexy man. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, agree. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. See, you need glasses, but okay. So see, everybody see has a print and it's how everybody says. Listen, I know. Okay, Flavor okay, Flav Lady Flav Daddy. Good. Okay, now so tell Flavor me, Trick Daddy is cute. It's probably good and bad. Still, oh. it's not ugly. And um, Lil John, if I want a little thug, I can go in. Mm -hmm. He just needs to make sure his teeth is brushed with all that gold. And who was the <laughs> other one? I said Trick Daddy. Nobody said anything about Lil John. Daddy. Said Lil I Wayne. take Trick Daddy. I take. I'll take Trick Daddy. You you okay. you would date Trick Daddy. I okay, I got an issue with that. I have an issue. You got. I have an issue with someone be. saying Seal is ugly. Seal is not ugly. He has scars, but they came from something. But he is not an ugly man. I don't care what they came from. Not. Seal That's is stupid. Right. Seal I is stupid. Smell good. Mm. Well, he, he ain't through. I ain't through with he, it. He better. He better damn some. He better smell good. You can't be ugly ass thinking now. That's a bad combination. You got to pick a struggle. My grandma used to say you got to pick a struggle. You can't be both. You know what I'm saying? So, Lady T, I want you to rate, put in order for me the the importance of looks, of love, looks, and loyalty. You know, um, what's, imp what's the most important of the three? Three, two, one. Give me the three, two, one. I would say loyalty. Okay. Love, and mm -hmm. then love. Okay, so why did you choose loyalty first? Because if you're loyal to me, I'm gonna all like automatically love you, and you're gonna love me. Looks, we can work on all that. So you know, I heard, I heard, um, Miss Good Hat on Care, Good Hat on Care. I meant to ask you the same thing when when you when you spoke. What's 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 the most important of the three for you in order? Um, can you give me the order again? I'm saying, oh, from from looks, from from love, looks, and loyalty. What's the most important? Um, three. If you, if you were to put them in order, which would you prefer first, second, third? You know, I, I'm young. I don't have no kids, so of course it's gonna be looks for me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be looks, love, then loyalty. Period. <laughs> looks, love, loyalty. Okay, so you taking looks over? I get that. You know, when you're young. You still a free, you still a free bird. I'm gonna tell you, you don't have no, don't have no children, boy. Cause ooh, you have some children, <laughs> and I'm gonna leave that alone. The fact I want them to look like me. You know, you love your camera, so I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> they the fa the fabulous one. I want to hear from you with that. What what's the most important 
for you, in order to get the fabulous one back down the aisle, what is the most important of the looks, love, and loyalty for you? Well, oh, okay. I'm going to say loyalty. Ooh, mm -hmm. right on time. But anyway, loyalty, love, and then looks. Because, you know, when you get a certain age, looks doesn't really make a difference with Please stop fam. no 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 let me let me oh, hold this. on Leanne. i'm coming to you next Leanne, because so you be ready. i always say um looks looks are only skin deep because they can be ever so good looking and have the worst personality and i like what Thanks. lady T said because most of the time you find, but then again, in this day and age, you got some trick or trickers out there that's unattractive and still try to play this game and you dealing with them and you already know that they're unattractive. I'm not going to say ugly because everybody has some form of beauty within them, but. I, I, I don't see some folks. I can't find it. I looked and looked. I searched. Shut and your no mouth. Way. Shut your Didn't mouth. I know but <laughs> I am. I'm that person. If you're loyal to me, I am down for you with all four flat tires. And then I want you to just love me till you can't love me no more. So that's mm. what it is for me. Because so loyalty, love, 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 and then love, love in four and hours. Then love. And as no. I stated, I love to be loved, honey. Cause ain't, hey, that, listen. Look, mm, mm, love ain't that. no greater feeling than love, right? Exactly. Love. Listen, people talk about hate, but love is a mofo because people say, I did this to them because they hurt me and I loved them, right? Love can spark so many emotions. Hate is only one thing. Hate is only hate, but love can spark so many different different emotions leanne let's smoke it up leanne what you what, what you got i'm in the same order in i'm in the you same, in the same order. order um loyalty mm -hmm. love and look mm -hmm. and i look. have to tell everyone on here about looks looks that's your god given you can try to improve with things that man made but you look how you look but if you find someone that may be unattractive to you, because I never call people ugly. Yeah, so, I do. Well, um, no, that's fine. <laughs> and you have that right. You have that right. <laughs> that person, if you can look at them with that, if you can look at them with admiration, you mm. can it's it's okay because people can't change how they look. Really, they can. They can pay they for can. it. They can pay for no, it. No, they don't even I need to pay for it because if they got that kind up. of heart, if they have that pure heart, you don't even you get past all of that. Hey, what, okay? what 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 is it called when they when the women get their face beat? Oh, sco oh. they getting it made up for the moment, but when they wash that, no, stuff they off, get a facelift. If you talking about the older woman, some people get no, that. It's, 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 oh, it's, oh, um, it's all with the S. It's all with the S. But these women, have you seen those pictures, Leanne? Where the women look, um, they have the after, the makeup, and the before. I'm gonna tell you something. If Stay I go in. to bed with you, with your face did up, and you look that way, and you wash that out, and you look a different way, I'm putting your eye. You hear me? Well, you got and to you know that women back. wear makeup, but, 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 but. <laughs> you going to bed with her? First you, you scream, got then you hit, everything. then you run. Then you you got it too soon, boo. You were supposed to, you were supposed to, you were supposed to experience that like just on a date without the makeup, okay? That's then fact. when you got some, and when you got some, and she wake up long. next to you, she ain't got no makeup with her. She got to go to that bathroom real quick and wash her face and brush her teeth because <laughs> ain't nobody want no steak breath and no cat in the eyes and all of that. But then you are gonna oh, see the bro. real, you gonna see the real her. I'm not a big he, fan of makeup anyway, so it, I, I, it's right, a, right. For the so if I you like ever watch, if you ever watch the show How to Get Away with Murder, of course, that's my show. Okay, so Annalise Keating, she has so many yes, different sir. looks yes, on now. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. Mm. Say yeah. My that one episode scarred me for life. Makeup on. Okay. <laughs> say a distinguished brother. What did you say? I said that one episode scarred me for life. <laughs> So it was more than one. Wrong, more than one. Yeah, I'm but that saying. first one was that. That was it. After that first one, there was nothing else that could be done because when that came off, you were like, "Oh God." Mm, okay. Mm, mm. So, with all seriousness, what do you what do you put on your criteria list as the most important? That loyalty, um, loyalty. For, Look, I ain't gonna do nothing for loyalty. Exactly. For so for me, my. Mm -hmm. would, Mine would be loyalty, right? Because I said loyalty. Yeah, yeah. I'm big on it, it. Loyalty would be top, right? Because I feel like love, with love being uh, a feeling and emotion, emotions change. So on Monday, you may feel in love with with little Bo Peep, but then I may upset you on Tuesday, and your love might not be as high as it was on Monday, right? Don't mean you don't love me, but when you feel away because love is an emotion or a feeling. You may not be willing to treat me like you did on Monday when you felt all in love and you was on cloud nine. So loyalty doesn't change. If I'm if you're loyal to me or loyal to me and I'm loyal to you, no matter if you piss me off to piss Tivity. Not to piss Tivity. You're gonna be loyal to piss Tivity, doctor. I'm 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 making up word tonight like you. Oh, you piss me shucks off now. Piss Ain't nobody do it like me. You know what I'm <laughs> okay. But if you piss me off and I'm loyal to you, I'm not going to turn on you because I'm upset. But if you love a person and you upset them, I guess what? If you just say you in the, and you mad, you're married, right? Because that's what we're talking about. We're trying to get down the aisle. Love looks loyalty. And I hurt you is what you may go and hurt me back, right? Because I hurt you off of your emotion, the emotion of love. You feel like, hey, I violated the love. So you're going to do the same. But when you're loyal, no matter what, you're going to stay loyal. Loyalty don't change, right? And you're right. Looks do change. You know, looks looks change. Looks, looks fade. Even though black don't crack, at some point in time, that black don't crack, right? Some cracks quicker than us you know some ain't never they ain't gonna even I ain't gonna even say that because Leanne just said you know by calling folk ugly so I ain't gonna even use I ain't gonna even use that term mm -hmm. but for me I'm going with loyalty I'm going with love and then looks now the 20 year old me might have said I might would have put looks first um like like my, like my girl good hat on care social media deep I might would have put looks first Oh, now nah, that still don't mean you get to you get to come this way and you ain't it. It just ain't the the most important of the of, of the three, but it holds a lot of weight in that in that in that three. So DF, DFG, what's what's what would be the order for you when it comes to to getting down that aisle in order for for, for DFG to say, I do, I take this woman. And you probably don't even you you probably make up your own vows, DFG. You know what I'm saying? You you gonna you gonna get up there with your voice and you're gonna woo in to get her to the to the altar. But what order for DFG does the love, looks, and loyalty fall into? Well, um good evening again. Give me them ladies. nuggets. DFG here again. Um my thing is is that loyalty is loyalty is is number one because that confers respect um i'd rather be respected than be loved um looks is second because you don't want to just like women don't want to look at nothing bad i don't want to look at anything bad um <laughs> you can be i mean size at the at my age size is not is not a is not a deal breaker however you can't look like 10 miles of bad road and be and be five foot four and 300 pounds. I'm just, just calling it, calling it as it is. Um, DMG, you, so yes. you are right with the BB, with the big bat game. You are right with that. You look, are right with the big bat game. Look, like I said, I'm almost, I'm almost 60. Um, I want, I, I, I enjoy a person who, who wants to be around me. Um, right. Frankly, I'm hard to be around. 
<laughs> I'm just I'm just being I honest. I respect that honesty, brother. I just, I I'm hard to be. I'm a hard person to be around. I mean, I I'm I could be quite charming. I can I could be smooth um, and that other things, smooth. but I'm a hard person to be around because I go through things and I just don't see me as being that great guy i mean women have told me i'm i'm handsome looking and i appreciate that i don't always feel that way though women know people say that i'm accomplished sometimes i don't feel that way so i'm a difficult person to deal with i'm simply complicated that's i know that's a platitude but it's it, it describes me to a t but love so you hard so you hard like, on your what you're saying when you say that is you're hard on yourself Sometimes, sometimes, Which, sometimes yeah, so, I could. I think I'm the best thing in the world. Right, and, right. You no, know, if they once once they made me, they broke the mold. But well, you know he a love, careful, so you know he got some of that in him because he a careful. I was just getting ready to say that, Doctor Fab. He a careful. He got more confidence mm -hmm. than Jesus. What are you it's talking okay. about? Don't well, what I'm saying though, don't head, ladies, oh, ladies and gents, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that love <laughs> is an emotion, just like anger just like joy it's it comes and it goes um respect is better than love doing things we have you know we have what's called love languages mine is acts of service i show that i i show that i care by doing stuff because that's that's just how i that's just how i roll now you have to find you have to find somebody that appreciates that if they don't appreciate that if they if they're if there's this gift giving, I you know it's on me to understand that that's how they show love. I always have I always have an issue receiving. And like I said, I'm a difficult person, but yeah, it, it's loyalty looks love. Okay, I'm with you. I'm the you know DFG man. You know um, honesty and and realness and um, people being genuine. You know it's kind of like a. It's, it's lost in this in this in this era that we live in, and so I really appreciate those nuggets, and especially um uh, for you as a man, because a lot of times us men, you know, we 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 don't want to admit our flaws. So for you to admit admit that hey, I, this is what I am, this is who I am, I like, I go through things. Um, uh, that speaks a lot about your character to me, brother. Much so that's that's much much respect to you. On that right there, the one with the with the rose rust, the golden voice, the latest toys, all the above. D, oh, D, right. well, okay. little Bo Pete, uh, uh, little Bo Pete, we wait, had wait, hands wait. up. It was y'all got a ten hand, and okay. then Lady T. So social okay. media, you still got your question or answer? Come on, come on, good hell don't care. Um, no, I, I already answered. I was just gonna tell him. Talk earlier to. before he switched the conversation about um love i just feel like love should just be um unconditional no matter you know what the outcome is where you may be mad or happy it should always be the same oh, okay so come on lady t okay so i noticed anson and dr feelgood chose love last am i correct yes okay so anson why did you choose love last because if you have loyalty, you have love. You can't love someone if you're not loyal to them. All right now, cousin. No, that's the gangster. That's the way the gangsters right, live. Right, but you know why did you choose it last? You chose um, loyalty, look, and then love. Okay, so one, I have to be with someone that's loyal to me. And so that's number one. I can't be with someone that I'm worried about with somebody else. When I turn my back, so loyalty is number one. Looks is the attraction. You don't love nobody because of their personality. You don't know what their personality is until you know. Them. So you're gonna have to want to get to know them first of all. So you have to be attracted to them some sort of way. So looks will have to come next, and then once all that is determined, then I can love you. Okay, now I love uh -huh. it. I love it. Okay, okay. Beer one had his hand up. All Beer right. one talk to him. Smoke up some ish. <laughs> Come on, Beer. Beer. Come on, Beer. Beer game. Talk to me. Unmute yourself. Yep, you gotta unmute. Mm -hmm. 
So this is a disclaimer. I've been around for a season. I've been married before. So um, <laughs> I've learned a couple of things. And, okay. Um, looks, loyalty, and then love. And there's always a method to the madness. Um, looks is my initial. It's always going to be looks. Right. I can't ever call nobody ugly. I can't ever say nobody don't look right. But there has to be that initial attraction. Something that made me look at you, you know what, I like you or I like what I see. Regardless of the, the style, the body shape, the color, the tint, the hair, no matter. Right. I can't look into your soul and tell if you're going to be the person for me. I mean, that initial introduction is looks. Your your face, your appearance, who you I are, your vibe, that your mood. I mirror that. I that's mirror what, that. Yeah, that's what made me come around that corner. Ooh. You know what I mean? And then honestly. <laughs> so you keep you on walking be one if that look not right. If that look ain't right, I'm on. I'm out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got okay. it, Something got to turn your head. It, I mean, it, you're talking it, about it. 8 billion people on the planet and you're going to tell me that if this person is loyal to you, I'm going to pick that person over 8 billion people for just because Beard, I, am I thought that they were loyal. Soul. My eyes are Man, closed. Man, look here. I'm looking at, at the, the end soul. of the day, I'm still trying to figure out is that the real you or not? That comes with time. Ooh, yeah, time. So time till that's I can, I can meet here. people. You know what I'm saying? You can meet people all day long, but you don't stop at the store and say, hey, how you doing to somebody who you're not attracted to? I'm sorry. I don't, we trying to figure out past attraction if I'm going to fall for you, if you're compatible, or we going to match. So I'm looking at looks all day long. Looks turn heads. Everybody got a different style of what they looking for, just like everybody got a different style of a car which they drive, but it's looks for me, off real. Okay. You know, so what, what, what's, getting to know what's, you. Second, what's, second, what's second for you, be the guy? See, that's, that's how you get problems. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, didn't, I didn't hear you. What was the second thing? So, so I mean... He don't like, have no second thing. He's stuck on looks. He's stuck on them looks. No, nah, <laughs> man. He, I'm trying to go away from looks, and he's trying to bring me back. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've dated all different types. You know, it's just a matter of, I mean, today could have been a good day for me, and I look good to you today, and I look horrible tomorrow. And honestly, when I saw you today, it's just the dress you wore, the heels you put on, the way your calves sit, the way that hair flowing. You might have a, the the um screaming angel singing in the background. For some reason, you glowing today. I like that. I feel that. I'm into that. I want that. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to take with me. Yes, well, for some yeah, reason, you happen to yeah, stand out. Yeah, he said the hair blowing. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I was getting ready to tell him, Lady T, that hair may be blowing today, but when you get home, she might take that hair off and put it, it on the coat hanger. Mm -hmm. She might put that's it on the coat hanger. <laughs> that's not, fine. Not the coat hanger. She better put it back the home before I come out that bathroom. Of the night no. stand. We not, so you got to be willing to accept better. all of that beer one. And when you love you right. somebody, and you don't I, care if they hair ball. And you right, but guess what? I don't love you yet. I just met you. Ooh, I want that hair back home. You still want that hair to swing in the wind, okay? I want that hair back home. You better, you better, you, better, you, you can better go get, get it. Hair. I don't care if you bought it. Hey, hey I don't hey, care if you game. bought it. If you grew it, if you borrowed it, put it back home. Oh. I ain't crazy about the one they bought, though. I ain't crazy about the hair they bought, though. <laughs> hey man, look I, at hey. everybody <laughs> buying and selling something. That's right. the way I'm looking at it. As long as they look good and it stay on their head. Cause it ain't crazy. That's all that matter to me. And I don't want to see that. It's all about presentation. That, that lace in the front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wrong for that one. You wrong for that one. And that glue. Oh, oh, I don't care. That white. That blue. <laughs> I, 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 he looking too hard. He answer got his hand up. Wait, wait. Little Bo. Little Bo, you like the cowboy. What? They got them long edges. I, I call them Michael Jackson. They I'm got so them sick Michael of them. Michael Jackson's laid down. It's really I'm, so of, I'm so sick of them there, them glue up, them press on edges. Listen, <laughs> listen I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um get like DB for a minute, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. say this right. Women Too say, bad. in order to get down the aisle with little Bo Peep, right, with with big Bo Peep son, in order for me to get back down the aisle, women say I want a real man, right? Mm. Well, guess what? I want a real woman. You got press on nails, press on edges, somebody else have 
somebody else. Like, where's the real? I don't know. Like, you just want you a go, natural woman. How you, go natural. Natural. you don't have to call it real. Just real, call it natural. And you got That's the it. I want a I want call it natural. natural. I want that Campbell soup chunky, that real, you know, that There you chunky. go. Ooh, there there somebody you make good. it feel away. That natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she go tell you, she say, just keep it real with me. Yes. I'm gonna keep it, I'ma keep it real with you. You got all this fake crap on the daggone dresser. You know what I'm saying? What that saying? What that, what that move? I'm gonna, wrong, get you I'm gonna get you sucker. She took off her hair, she <laughs> yeah, took off her legs, yeah, took off her right. eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, like you they holler, you holler real in order to get down that, in order to get down that aisle, man, you know, to each to each his own, right? I don't believe it takes 175 days for me. I 72, feel like 172. Off the first, mm -hmm. 172 off the first conversation for me i know what category i'll put you in oh i'm in the friend zone her i'm in the out zone her the out zone and we never speak again you get blocked the first time we talk because you get on the phone talking crazy you get on the phone big and you get on the phone and i see you you, you broken we uh, i ain't even going there right i ain't got time to fix a flat right so Mm. I, I ain't got time to fix a flat. That's a flat right there, right? Ain't nothing there. It's broken. Like it's flat. I don't. I don't want to deal with it. But I don't feel like 172 days is necessary. I do feel like for me, like real authentic men, the first conversation, I can say, okay, I might be willing to date her. I want to have a second conversation with her. You know, as so I want to have a third conversation with her. Like it takes more than those than just looks, right? Because can we hold a conversation? outside of what you look like, outside of what you think I look like. Like, can we build something great? Can we can we ex expand on what I have and what you have? Like, what can we do together? So it's greater than those looks, but I don't take, I don't think it takes a, a half a year to, to pretty much, you know, say um, if you, you know, would be willing to be with that person or not. If some ladies, I'm going to keep it Keep it gangster with you. If a man playing with you like that, leave his ass alone because he don't want to get down the aisle. You know, it's will you marry me? You probably won't be seeing or hearing that question no time soon. So, you know, what I would say, what I would finish my segment up with today, you know, um, walk in purpose, walk on purpose, live on purpose, everything you do, make sure it's purposeful, that you're not just doing it just to be doing it. I am yours truly, Lil Bo Pete, the one and only Mr. Faller my smoke himself. Thank you for my time. Thank you for your time. Doctor, it's back to you. All right. And I see Anson has his hand up. Beer one, you got your hand up. But I got to say something um, about Lil Bo Pete. Now he said he wanted all this natural, natural woman, this and that and the other. No natural. wig. Listen, no wig, no press on hair. No, nothing. He just wanted straight from mm, the gullah, gullah, gullah. He wanted <laughs> just straight. But what well, I'm saying, listen, everybody like what they like. Thanks. And we said, exactly. And I always say no one is ugly. I will say you have some unattractive people. However, what you may think look like a pot of gold may look like a um, tarnished mess to me. So when I say that, Lil Bo Peep, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Come on, Anson. All right. I got two things I got to say. Hold, hold um, on, Anson. So she want to punch me in the face and then call I, on your I mother. ain't punch her in the face, <laughs> man. I gave you all that love because I gave you your natural woman. I gave you all of that. And then I just said, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Because yeah. what you like, somebody may not like. Papa Doc may not like that. Papa Doc might like a wig, might like press on, might like them three inch waves around the side of the head. So, you know, I'm just saying, it's in the eyes of the beholder. I definitely agree with you, Doctor, that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I wear glasses, right? So. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. let uh, answer. Go ahead, answer. Go ahead, answer. He just coming on in here. Look at Action Jackson chat. First and foremost, uh, I would say, um, any woman that's taking advice, relationship advice from Steve Harvey, ain't for me <laughs> because 
because this fool has had a string of bad relationships. And as a woman, if you take advice from this loser ass man, then it sucks for you. Anyway, uh, back to my main point, uh, looks. Since we talk about looks as uh was the main topic of the three, um, I think people have looks misconstrued because looks only matters to the person to right. yourself, mm-hmm. right? So for me personally, I like to see a woman with hair messed up. I don't want to see your hair done. I don't want to see your hair all fresh out the salon and all that because I want to see what it's. I want a preview. I want to see what it's going to look like in the morning. Mm. so I don't need to see your hair all dolled up and fresh out the salon no I want to see what you're going to look like when you get your braids loosened up that's to me I never forget I never forget I never forget in my lifetime that was one of the sexiest moments I ever had when I seen the woman I was with her hair getting her braids loosened up yeah I told her up that day Ooh, not the toe. Oh, oh my goodness. Did and she asked you to help take the braids out. She might have asked you to help her take them braids out. Did you I help did. her take them braids out, Anson? Yeah, he, he, mm. he knocked them up out of her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right from my hand. I had that, <laughs> I had that, I had that, what, rat tail? And you was, was combing them out, huh? I, was, I had that rat tail while I was getting that tail. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, come on, Mr. Beard one. Your hand was up. Come on. We want to hear what you got to say. Do agree with answer. That natural beauty does hit different. Mm-hmm. That worst That's case cool. scenario, at the very worst, this is what you're going to look like and you still beautiful. That is a wonderful thing to see. Yes. Remember what I was talking about was when I first met you. Mm-hmm. When I first meet you, I mean, you show up at a job interview with your best suit, your best outfit, oh. your best face forward. This ain't nothing but one, too. This is just a lifelong one. And that's just how I look at it. You don't want me to come up to you on the first date in gym clothes. You don't want me to come up to you approaching you. And I just got up, got up from underneath the car, hollering about, hey, how you doing? You want me to step up to you and be presentable and be impersonable. And that's Preach exactly beer. what I speak from people beer. that I meet. You know, and then, and like I was saying earlier, that goes into the whole loyalty. I can't fall in love with you if I don't trust you. So loyalty first, then love. But I do agree with him 1,000% on this Steve Harvey stuff. I've been married before. (laughs) I've got married prematurely. And I'm telling you now, 172, five or eight days ain't enough to learn somebody to decide whether that's going to be your lifelong partner. You still figuring them out after year one. You still figuring them out after year two. So if you sitting back and you getting married at eight months, you're going on that that low percentile, hoping and praying that y'all make it. Because when I hit year one in, in a previous marriage, I realized that around year one, I ain't even like the person I was married to. Oh, I didn't know who they was. Preach, they preach, know preach, preach, preach. I realized it was, it was, it was, was too soon. Preach, preach. It was, it was too soon. You, you, you still in your honeymoon phase at six months. You ain't even really got into a real relationship yet. You ain't had your trials and tribulations. She ain't flipped out on you yet. You ain't snapped on him yet. You ain't figured out whether he good with finances. You really didn't know if she can cook or not. So to me, it's, oh, now, it's I'm too that. early. I'm gonna know that beard one. I'm gonna know that. <laughs> nah, man, you, 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 you gonna yeah, know, you yeah, gonna yeah, know, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know that. Now I'm gonna wish it till you said that. She gonna have to, she gonna have to show me that. You gonna know food. You're going to know food has been prepared for you. You don't know if she got an in made that or not. No, because I'm going to get what? I'm going to make sure because, look, I'm going to ask her to cook for me. I want to see you do you it. You're going to be in the kitchen with her, right, little boy? You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I got a partner. I got a partner. He be tell, he'll tell women he cook for him, but he, he'll order it. He'll have pots and pans in the stove, I mean, uh, in, the, in the sink. Like, he don't cook, but he don't pay for it, right? So... You can get tricked on that. So I want to. I need to see that for myself. I need to come to your house and see you cleaning up. I need to come and see you around, like your family, and see you around people and see how you treat people. Like that's, but well, that's the forty-one year old me, um, talking. The the twenty-two year old me, I knew that too, but it wasn't as important. I I, I wasn't operating in it. I was busting, but I agree with you. So I agree with you. Forty-two days. You're supposed to find out in the first 172 days. Oh, okay. that's what Master okay. Steve say. 
All right, then. <laughs> so we got Papa Doc in the house. He got his hand Papa, up. Papa, what up, Papa? Papa. Good evening, good evening, everybody. <laughs> what, what up, Papa? It's, what it do? What it do? <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all hit on some great points tonight. But I'm going to tell you a pet peeve for me. She could be fine. She could be ugly. I, you know, I could learn to love that ugliness after a while, you know, because <laughs> to be honest with you, I want you all to hear this. You know, she, you know, you know, the girl of five or four. All right. She a six. Okay. And you know this, but if you be with her for a while, that six start creeping up on eight and nine because you get used to it, you know, and it's like a certain sexiness. But here's what I can't have. You could be, it could be appearance, but the one thing you got to have, you got to have that mind. I cannot be with a dumb woman. And Ooh. I don't know if dumb is the word that I want to use. And she don't, she don't have to be educated. She just can't be dumb. You know, Ooh. because that's my turn off, man. I mean, like, I'm like, wow. Cause, and, and then, Okay, so I, I grew up in the hood. I'm a little hood rat, and I, you know, I happen to make it out. We can tell you education. got those hood tendencies. We can tell. Yeah, I can, it's, and it, it's hard to <laughs> let go, you know. Even at this age, I'm almost 60 now, too. Uh, 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 you know, I'm 58. I'm close to 60. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but life experiences, you know, when you grow up out there in, in, in the burbs, and then you get with a dude from the hood, mm. and and Y'all, you know, y'all coming down the aisle, you know, okay. She's skipping. You taking your time because you already know you're going to fall. She don't mm. know she's going to fall, okay? And then you looking at her saying, you're taking everything for granted because everything was given to you a certain way. I had to struggle to get all of mine, so I see it a whole nother way, you know? Mm. So That was deep. Probably, that was deep. You know, and so... He with that, doom. with that, that common sense, she got to have that too, okay? Because there's some women out here, and there's some men out here. I ain't gonna put it all on y'all, the, the, the ladies tonight, but common <laughs> sense is is not as common as you think. And then you know your little hundred and however many days, seventy-two, that, 172. 172. Yeah, well, maybe that didn't seep out because, you know, you were so busy, you know, engaging and intertwining with her. And all of a sudden, that slowed down. And now you start to see, man, this chick is dilly, dumb, and everything in between. Mm. That's that's going to make me leave. Harvey, she dilly, dumb already. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you, well, see, that's, that's another mm -hmm. man, you know. You, mm. you can't always go by what another man say because of his experience, your life experience and his life experience with women are two different things, you know, because like I say, sometimes you forget where you came from. Okay. Mm. You want to, you, you didn't always have that money in your pocket. You didn't always wear them Steve Harvey suits, neither. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Ooh, so don't them. forget where you came from. That okay. man dropping them jewels. All yeah. right now. Pop it out. Mm. He said he got, he, yeah, he said he had a little hood in him. You wear Timberlands, pop it out. No, let me keep and it moving. Listen, okay. listen, mm. at six four, they are the worst shoes for your feet. The one that, <laughs> two two shoes I have never had. I've never put on a pair of Timberlands and I've never had a pair of Air Jordans. Praise <laughs> God for that. Don't okay. wear no Jordans. I ain't gonna get on that tonight. That's another conversation. <laughs> never but, had okay. a pair of them. I'm going to turn it over to the one, the only. Special K, you ready, girl? Special K, you done fell off? No, I'm here. I was on mute. <laughs> okay, come on, Special K. Tell him. Give me that energy. Give me that mm, mm, mm. Let's get it. Let's go. K, K got something to say. So what? <laughs> so, I mean, are we talking about this love loyalty and looks or we talking about whatever you want to talk about okay bring it to okay. us and give it to I us because we want to know what you got to say ever can't say what she got to say today mm -hmm. bring it <laughs> on 
Okay, so aligning with, with our topic was, I basically just wanted to, um, what do you guys think about, do you think that the best relationships start out with a foundation of friendship? But of course, you got to be friends first. Right, so in the video we watched, you, you know, it was some things said about, you know, the friendship, a relationship not being based on a friendship, mm -hmm. but... I believe that correct. I believe that you have to it's it's a great thing to be friends first. Now, I've never been in a situation where I've had like a male best friend or something and it turned into a relationship. I'm not too keen on that kind of dynamic. Is Dr. Phil good? Oh, okay. I'm not too keen on that kind of dynamic. He was waving or something. Yeah, that's a you need our attention, Dr. Feel Good. I I wanna I want to ask, I wanna talk about that. Um, special K. Um, when I when I watched that video, it, you have to look at it from a guy's perspective. A guy doesn't a guy wants a woman that can relate. He doesn't need a female friend. Most female, most most guys, I'm not gonna say not all, because it's not all. Mm -hmm. Most guys cannot truly be a woman's friend if he has some sort of attachment to her if he if he's attracted to her he ain't trying to he, he'll be friendly but he ain't trying to be a friend because he's trying to he try if she if she gave up everything and said come on over let's let's um do a couple of things um the person will be knocking on the door before he she even hang up the phone um <laughs> so that you, know, you don't feel that women and men could be strictly platonic, platonic friends. No, I didn't say that. Not if there's an attraction. If Not there's if an there's attraction. an attraction. If there's an if attraction, there's an attraction, you they, cannot they can't be, be just friends. They can't be friends it's because, and, and it's not, and it's not only one. It's not unidirectional. There are, there are, there are guys who have women friends that the women want to get with the guy, but the guy's like, nah, we cool. We cool and she and but that's not those are not friendships. Mm. Those those are people being friendly toward each other, hang out, do stuff. But if push came to shove, they will want to try if 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 the person that that who's on the receiving end of the infatuation says, let's do this, it's gone, it it'll it can't happen. So I'm, what I'm saying is that if I'm not attracted to you and I'm friendly towards you, I can we can be friends because oh. ain't nothing else going to happen. But most guys, when when you're with a woman, you're not trying to be her friend. You're trying you're trying to be with her and be able to relate because fr sometimes friends don't relate. Mm. But you, in order to have a Why relationship, about that? And, mm. and you know. In order to have a relationship, you have to be able to relate to that person. Those okay. ins, those outs, those things that because what I what I'm seeing is you cannot you don't have to talk to a friend every day. Try not talking to your woman every day and see what happens. That's all I but got. In, but it, so yeah, Dr. Yeah, Phil yeah. good. So Dr. Phil good, in turn with that, when you're saying you want a man wants a woman that he can relate to and things like that i mean in turn that doesn't that kind of in turn go along the lines of becoming your <clears throat> best friend like you want that you i well i know for me i want my man who i ride with for the long term to be my best friend this needs to be the person i can come my confident i can come to whenever we can have great times i want to be able to i can go out with him and we can have a ball and laugh right. and right. you know um, that, that, you know, yeah. sir, yeah. that's okay with the relationship uh, but, yeah, but yeah. you can be in a relationship with somebody but, and you don't yeah. like to go out with them because they're not they're not fun or they they're bored. not into the same they thing bored. right hey, they're not into the same okay thing. I, Hey, check this out, Kay. And and you have you have a you have a valid point. However, the difference is is that it, it, coming from a guy, and you know, I've I've been a guy fifty almost fifty eight years now. Um, a guy had will not tell his woman things that he might he might tell his boys. Mm -hmm. There there are things that women will tell 
their women friends and some some male friends that they won't tell their partner because when you when you're in a friend when you're friends you see things a lot differently than when you're when you're in a relationship we can go and hang out as a couple go out and do things enjoy ourselves the whole nine but when you with your friends your true friends your peeps you're not going to act the same. And if somebody yeah, says, hey, dude, I'm going, I'm going, I'll say right to their face. You are a liar. Look at, look at my face. <laughs> you are a liar. There's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. So that, that's the difference. That's the difference. Kay. I'm sorry. I need okay. to stop running my mouth like that. So, oh, you're fine. So, so Kay, like that. <laughs> to, to, DF, to DFG, I agree partially with what you're saying, right? Um, you hit some good, good points that at times men won't express things to their woman in their friendship that they will their homeboy. Um, and a lot of times that is because you can tell somebody something in confidentiality and a woman will get mad and then she brings it up. Right. But I was listening to the Terry Crews interview, um, last, last week, um, on a pod on a, on a podcast and he speaks so highly of his wife and how his wife is, is is his best friend and even though things was happening to him he was basically living a lie and his wife knew the lifestyle that he was um that he was living but she welcomed she welcomed the truth from him and he just says how free he was and how he was able to love and and live a, a better life, um, and it helped the friendship of he and his he and his wife. So for me, well, can I you was, tell me about the interview? Because I didn't hear the interview. What happened? It, on on club on club Shay Shay um Shannon Sharp club Shay Shay on, on Shannon Sharp show. He has a he has a show. Um, uh, I would advise anybody to go and listen. It was an amazing it was an amazing interview. You saw a man that was that was vulnerable, and a lot of times we don't like to be be vulnerable because we don't want to feel like somebody will be able to to judge us or try to uh, try to think they can take advantage of you in your state of vulnerability but in order to love i do feel like you have to be vulnerable, vulnerable. yeah it's, it's a it's a it's a 50 50 you it can, it can work it may not work right but mm -hmm. i feel like if you develop that friendship um from a place of of um being genuine a pure friendship, a pure love. There's no judgment. Like I want to be able to talk to my woman about everything, right? Like, okay. like I'm talking to my homeboy. I feel like you should, and I want her to be able to talk to me in confidence. Um, like she would talk to her her girlfriend. And like Kay said, when you go out, I don't want to be I don't want to be bored when I go out. Like if I if I go out to have a good time and you sitting down and I want to dance, I got to dance with somebody else. You know that defeats the purpose like of me talking with you. From experience, little Bo P. And he is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, baby, you know, what I'm saying? so, but, mm. but it, but it, but it, but it's, but it's real though. Like to, um, Papa, Papa Doc said some really, really, um, powerful for things about like the, the common sense. Common sense isn't, isn't so, isn't so common. Not having somebody that's, that's dumb. All of those things like fall up under that, that those roles or places of getting. Of getting down the aisle, right? You want mm -hmm. somebody that's your that's your your best friends. Now I do feel like if a woman and a man has slept together, at that point you can't be friends. Like if uh, I try to have a platonic friendship, you can't. My if I if you, you my can't woman, turn back the hands of time. You can't turn back. Y'all, you cannot turn back those hands of time. Once you know what that bus down like, you will never invite. You can invite Not your the home. bus down. You will oh, never. Oh my goodness. You will never invite. A, a, a man that you don't lay with that you call your friend to my dinner table to my barbecue I, I i ain't going for it so i do feel like in that aspect you can't be friends but i do feel like you should have a friendship within your relationship and a friendship all that boils down to is a place of trust and vulnerability yeah all right well you said all a mouthful right. all Thanks. right so okay go ahead that's all I had for tonight. That was my question. Anyone is welcome to, you know, jump in on it. But I just, you know, 
just again, do you think that the best relationships have a foundation of friendship first? Okay. Well, we got coming to your forefront, the one, the only, Action J. Are you ready, Action J? I'm ready. Doing okay, this show. Okay, well, bring it to us. <laughs> so my oh, question for tonight. Oh, yeah. wants, yeah, it, it, my question for tonight, who wants to marry more, the male or the female? Well, it depends on what city and state you in. Some people need, in Miami, most of the time, you got 50-50 because they're trying to get green cards down there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. uh, oh. <laughs> okay. So I have a question. Well, I have, I want to say something to that action, Jay. <laughs> um, We had a conversation a while back and my son had joined in on it and he made a point that men choose women to marry. Men are the ones who choose who they marry. What do you think about that? I think that's the most. Is that most, a true statement? Most yep. of the time, choose the woman to marry, but women sometimes try to push the marriage onto the guy when they're dating for security. Now, what do you mean by push? Like when you dated and suggest getting married, like oh, you can't. They have a a, a plan or agenda, you know, that they want to get marriage or the the, the house or picket fence, you know, plan a family and so forth. Oh, okay. What do you think, little Bo Peep? Hold on. Little Bo Peep doing something, child. He can't talk. He on mute. You on mute. Or, or answer, go ahead, Anson. You on mute. Hold on. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. You can. <laughs> okay. What, what, was your, what was your question, Action? I'm sorry. No. What was your question? Woman uh, push marriage on a man for security, you know, a lot of times. Also for plan for family and yeah. long term. Definitely. Definitely. Um. I don't feel like when it comes to to love that um it should be pushed, it should be forced. It's, I don't feel that it should be. I feel like it should just flow. I feel like it should just be natural, right? And I feel like the man should take the lead. Some things, I know the world is changing, but I'm not changing with the ways of the world, right? Um, I feel like some things I'm going to stick and hold to my tradition. I don't want a woman asking me to marry me because if a woman asks me to marry, her. So if any woman on here listening, right, and you ever consider me as your man and you say, little Bo Pete, will you marry me? I'm going to tell you, get your ass up off that floor embarrassing me and I'm going to leave you right there. Ain't nobody that asking is... you to get married. Why? Why? Because that's a man's no, job. Bo Pete. That's it's a man's a, job. That's a man's job. It's a man's right? job. It's a man's job. It's a man's job. Right? It's a man's job. Right? Let me do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah. little Bo. That's a man's job. That's a man. But, hey, Jane but, Brown said it's a man but, world. So right there, it's a man. Bo, Bo P, she could talk about marriage in a conversation. I'd go on her knees, you know, they could like talk about, oh, I could see myself marry you. No, she want to propose. They, 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 they have a conversation yeah. to plant the seed in your head. And you as a man going to like take the lead. Okay, well, yeah. she, she wants marriage. So I'm going to have to propose to her. Or sometimes, yeah. hey, when I get, I want a big proposal. She right. can what she wants. To create that image, that's fine. And make, make come to reality, but it's also her way of pushing marriage onto you as well. That's her way, but, but I feel like if a man wants to marry you, it's gonna be a conversation that I bring to the woman. That a you woman bring to the table. A woman is gonna push that conversation when a man, when she feel a man has had enough time and he hasn't brought it to her attention. I think that's when a, a woman with sense. We talk about somebody with sense. Cause some people feel like shit, after thirty days, after thirty days, you you supposed to ask them to marry. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. You only know your middle name. Talking about thirty days, but for like a sensible amount of time, I feel like a, a man. Um, uh, it, it stems from knowing, like that first conversation. I know if I can date you, or if I know if I just want to sleep with you, or if I know if I just want out. I want to out zone you or, or friend zone you, right? It stems from that initial thing. So when it get when time passes, six months, a year, okay, maybe I'm considering like, okay, I, I see these qualities that she possesses. I've seen her keep a home. I've seen her with her children. I've seen her um going out into the community doing these great things without me without me um her just doing it for me. But this is who she is. Because you have to have a person that fits you. It gotta be peanut butter and jelly. Like me, I go and I do I do ministry work, right? I don't want somebody that I got to beg to go and do ministry work with me, right? 
I want somebody to say, hey, I got this event planned. I would love for you to join me. So it takes more than just like those looks. It, it That's why like looks wasn't at the top of my list for me. You know what I'm saying? It takes more of, of loyalty that somebody that's going to really be there in the in the end, man. But I don't want nobody pushing on me. And I, and I feel like if a woman is pushing on me, then uh, you got to push on them. You got to, it's, it's, it's time to leave, ladies. Because if he ain't brought it up to you, it probably ain't on his radar to do, you know? That's my smoke. All right, now. Anson, you had your hand up, but you took it down. Did you change your mind? No, I had my hand up. I thought I was going to say something, but I, I had but, to wait. Okay. But um, to answer the initial question, who wants marriage more, men or women, I would say it's a toss-up. But I would lean towards women want marriage more than men because I think women look at it as a badge of honor. You know, like I'm married. Men look at it as a responsibility. Mm. You know, choose to get married. Yeah, you, you the 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 end of your life starts now. You know what I mean? Like you start to die. They say you start to die the day you get married. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's what they say. A man slowly starts dying when he gets married. So and the women me, too. Well, that's, <laughs> well, that's that's an unhealthy. That's 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 that unhealthy stuff. It shouldn't feel that way. Like I, I'm not gonna get married. If I feel like this is the end of life. That's but I live, right. Because when you get married, right you're now. supposed to be having fun, 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 right. fun, so fun, that's fun, just fun. The, that's just the narrative in our society now. You know what I mean? Right. What I'm saying, like for men, it's more of an obligation. For women, it's more of a badge of honor. So I would say to answer your question, Action J, women would be, be more more inclined or want to get married more than men. Because mm. men responsibility are chore than I guess, right? Right. Oh you can't just do what you want to do as a married man. But as a single man, you can do whatever you want to do. Not if you got yeah. the right girlfriend, but anywho. So you give, um, you give in other words, you give me a free then. My my father used to say, you know, uh, men do what they want, boys do as they're told, right? Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't like your for for any man that that's that's serious about like love and um and like growth and, and things because we can't stay the same, we can't think the same. Like that's why was, our culture is um in shambles because of that those narratives. When I get married, man, it's the end of my life. Like you going into something dreading it, right? So how can you give it a true chance 100%. to work? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're dreading something going into it, it's like a job. It's like a it's like a job. Who wants to work somewhere for thirty or forty years and every day you hate getting up in the morning, punching that time clock? It's no difference with rolling over to a person that you're saying, "Hey, I love you. You know, I desire you. I want to be with you for the rest of my days." So God calls one of us home. I don't want to roll over to a woman and I feel like this is the end of my life. Only men feel like that are men that are not ready to deal with one woman. Men that still want to play, they feel like that. You know what I'm saying? But men that's that's ready, you know what I'm saying? They want to roll over and be like, hey, man, I really love you. You know what I'm saying? Kiss on her cheek, kiss on her lip or whatever with the morning breath because you really you love her. You say on the liver? Lip. <laughs> oh, I thought you said on the liver. I was getting I mean, ready to say, baby, you doing I'd rather some touch a little bit. Little you, know? you doing some real deep kissing. So it's everyone, like check this out. It's 10.03. 10.03. Time flies when you're having fun. And God knows it's been a true blast to have each and every one of you come to Tantalize and Talk Thursday with Upscale Law for You. So I'm going to bid adieu and ask Lady T, for your input for our closing, coming on back to Special K, DFG, Distinguished Brother, guess what? We're going to catch you next week because I know that smooth talk, he going to talk real slow and <laughs> easy. And, you know, it's just going to be a long drawn out, but we got you next week, DFG. <laughs> Not DFG, Distinguished Brother. Distinguished brother, can you hear DB me? had his time last week. 
<laughs> he sure did. Boy, did he have his time. I don't even see him on here. Oh, wait until I have to give him a little piece of, um, you know. You know, it's past to... his bedtime. Okay, it was because it, it's after 10 and I know some he didn't have that Viagra tonight. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let me stop. Yeah, he got put, he got no, he got honey. Yeah, he Lady T, come on, come on, Lady T. I just want to say, look, whatever floats your boat, that's how you need to roll. Because if you like a person for love, love the hell out of them. If you like them for looks, then go ahead and do your thing. But I totally recommend loyalty. So I'm going to pass it on over to you, Special K. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming on tonight and hanging out with us. I just want to say, everyone, have a good evening. Have a good rest of your week. Stay blessed. And over to you, Dr. Fab. DFG, Dr. Feel So Good. Come on to us. Only thing I'm going to say is never make love by the garden gate. The love is blind and neighbors ain't. See y'all guys next week. All right. And Lil Bo Peep. Make it short and sweet. Hey, thank you all for tuning in. You know, I always say God is amazing and so are you. Follow my smoke, follow my praise. Have an amazing weekend. Be safe. All right. So good night, everyone. And guess what, y'all? Smooches. Mwah. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>